Hey, welcome back to the garage guys. Finishing up the Pimp XS uh, Mega Squirt install on the 89 5 liter. And I just wanted to show you guys a few things you gotta do under hood uh, to get ready to run the Mega Squirt. So let me turn this around and show you in the engine compartment. All right, first things first, uh, you gotta run high impedance injectors. So I had some low impedance, so I changed out to newer high impedance injectors from Snake Eater Performance. I got an unboxing and an install video of those up on uh, the page as well. Um, the next thing you gotta do is you gotta find a good vacuum source. Um, uh, Mega Squirt has the vacuum uh, port on the, uh, the mainframe, but you gotta find something good off the intake manifold or the vacuum tree. I don't have a vacuum tree anymore, so I got a direct tap uh, right under here to the back side of the intake manifold. And as you can see, runs back along the firewall and then I run it back um, through um, the wheel well um, into the inside of the car. And I'll show you that once we get in there. And the last thing is uh, your wide band. So I'm running two, uh, only requires one. Well, actually it doesn't require one, but uh, certainly with tuning nowadays, you wanna have one. So I am running the Spartan two and here's the controllers one and two, and then I wired them in to the factory uh, wiring harness, which you can just splice into if you got some old oxygen sensor plugs, um, splice them into um, the Spartan 2, and then connect them into the factory plugs, which already run back to the ECU power, uh, ground, and the signal uh, wires are all there. The only additional wires is these have heater grounds on them, so you just have to run those to a ground. Uh, but that's it for under the engine compartment. We'll jump back inside uh, the car and I'll show you um, the map hose uh, going to the ECU. All right, hey guys, welcome to the uh, the passenger side of the car. Uh, here is the map hose uh, ran in through um, the right uh, passenger, sorry, yeah, passenger side fender um, over through um, a grommet on the side of the door just making sure that it's not near the exhaust heat and it's not pinching anything and then here's where it connects to the ECU uh, you got a little nipple coming out um, for my version of the pimp XS it's on the side but I think for some of the other versions it's on the top uh, don't mind the mess I'm just testing all my wiring so um, that's really the last step you got to do is to run that map hose uh, to the computer and hook it up all right, I got my laptop up and open. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, follow Stinger's instructions on the Pimpex. And once we're done with that, we'll transfer over to the digital dash. Uh, so moment of truth, uh, turn the key on, we should hear the fuel pump. And all is working. All right, so good so far. All right, so next thing is file, project, new project. So file, new project. Let's see, give it a name. One. All right, 89 GT Pimp XS version 1.2.1. Looks good. And then click the detect button. Detecting. It looks like it's doing its. All right, it says it's found two controllers. Gives you two options select USB D2XX. Hmm, well, I don't see that, so I'll have to do some troubleshooting. Oh, we'll just give this a try and see what happens. Well, it looks like we got to download a file. All right. 
Now we're just matching settings here. So let's see, wideband, AFR default, that's right. Fahrenheit, can commands, deactivate. Deactivate. All right, so that's good. All right, now we pick our dashboard. Don't really care right now. Let's go with that one for now. All right, just minor connection issues. I, I think I got it all figured out and we're connected to the ECU. So I'm going to start with calibrating the TPS and idle, just leave the pedal obviously at idle, select get current, and then full throttle, press the pedal to the floor, get current, and then accept. And I'm showing zero on TPS now. Pedal is at idle. So that's all looking good. And then you got to calibrate your wideband uh, tools, calibrate AFR table, uh, let's see, 14.7, that's what I have, got that, and then you hit here, write to controller, write complete, that's all good. Alright, so now it's time to make sure our ignition settings are correct, sorry I already had it open, but right up here at the top, ignition setting button. And first one ignitions options wheel decoder. And you got to match these up with Appendix F in the startup guide. Let's see basic trigger angle 11 pip three falling edge going high single coil. All right, all right, all right. I won't bore you. This is all looking good. All right, with all that done, ignition settings are checked. It says here to key cycle, so turn it off and then back to run. So we're going off. Now as you can see, the ECU disconnects. And then back to run. There's fuel pump. Alright, so now we're checking all the sensors, read correctly in the tuner studio or dashboard. TPS is zero, so that's good. 100. There we go, goes to 100. That wide open throttle. Map, upper right here. That's 101. Close to 100 is what it says. Alright, so that's looking good. Coolant temp, yep, it's cold. Obviously, it's not running air temps matching, so that looks pretty good. Everything's looking good on here. Alright, all the inputs are cracked, so now it's time to try and crank the engine. <laughs>